Hey, what's up everyone again? Ryan J. Owens, agency owner, former pro since 2002. Uh, played for Team USA for a few years. We're gonna have on Amanda Benson today of Team USA. And we're just gonna talk a little bit about her time as a pro. Her advice would be for others going pro and what she's learned so far and how it's been to work with me and Elite One. Hey. Hey, how's it going? It's going great. You got a lot of sun over there. I know. It's so sunny today. I'm nice. Sure, but we don't complain when the sun is out here in Switzerland. Oh, so we take it. For sure, for sure. You have a lake view? I do have a lake view. Do you want to see it? Can yeah, I show us the lake view? view. Okay. He's in North Hell, Switzerland. Yeah. Places. So nice. Yeah, wow. it's so bright. Awesome. Cool. Well, then let's get on with it. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I see that uh, Lindsay's on doing some research for hers coming up. Yeah, Tia's on too. She can just come downstairs if she wants. <laughs> In one sentence or less, how would you describe yourself? I think it's hard to explain myself in one sentence, but kind of like a little fireball. Uh, sassy at times, quiet and reserved at times, but um, creative. And I like to think outside the box and be challenged. And um, yeah, that's that's how I'd explain myself. Word. Name, age, position, and where you're from. Uh, my name is Amanda Benson. I'm 24. I am from Litchfield Park, Arizona, and I am in my third season now professionally. As a? Blue Barrel. Okay. I don't know if you said it. I, it cut out a little bit for me. No, so. I, I think I forgot it. <laughs> That's all good. List your uh, college and pro teams with the country and level. Add in there if they were Euro Cup. Okay. Um, so I spent four years at the University of Oregon, go Ducks. And then um, I played my first season for uh, VNBB in uh, Nancy, France, in the first league. And then I went and played for Dresden um, Volleyball Club, Sports Club, in Dresden, Germany. And now I'm here for Vitios Nuke in Neuchatel, Switzerland. Uh, and Dresden, uh, we played CEB Cup. And also right now we are in CEB Cup and we have a match next Wednesday. Fantastic. And your Team USA experience? Yes. Um, I joined uh, Team USA in April. Um, I graduated early um, in hopes to maybe go overseas. And I was actually, I was not able to go overseas, but I was called into the national team in April. Um, so that was 2017. Um, yeah, and did uh, two year, two and a half years with them, basically. I uh, played a bunch of tournaments, made rosters, and then this past year, a little bit less, but played a North Seca tournament. Fantastic. What's your two-season vision? So finishing out this year and going into next season, what would be your vision for what that's going to look like for you? Yeah, uh, personally, I've played three seasons, and it's been three different countries. So um, if I followed that path, maybe I'd play in another country next year and another one then. But uh, I like to take it just like one season at a time. Um, I do have goals and aspirations maybe to go play in, you know, leagues like Italy and Turkey if it was possible. Um, so I think those are kind of things that I think about, but I'm not super um, set on one, one league. Um, just kind of what happens, happens. All right. And for this season, what's the goals? Um, I want to win a league championship. Um, I came to this club and they kind of did the triple crown last season. They won Swiss Super Cup, they won Swiss League and uh, the Cup. And I came wanting to do that again. And we have won. We won Super Cup, which you were at. And um, we haven't started Cup yet, but looking forward to starting Cup and also uh, want to win a league championship here for Vitios. Sweet. Uh, can you explain the difference between these league matches and the Euro Cup matches? If you want, you can blend in an idea of level versus like Oregon. This. Yeah, so um, for league matches, obviously we have our league in Switzerland. And um, to compare it, I guess we just started CV Cup and we played uh, Minsk. Um, which they play in the Russian League. And uh, for reference, like, I think they're towards the bottom of the Russian League, but 
the girls there, they're a little bit taller, a little bit stronger uh, than the girls that we face in the Swiss League. It's just different type of play. Uh, we play really fast and they play really high and just hit really hard. Um, so you you kind of go into the CEB not so much knowing um, so much about the team that you're playing, obviously with video and all this, but um, it's just sort of a different style of play. Um, and to compare it to college, when you turn pro, you know, it's more, it's your job. So it's taken a little bit more seriously. Um, of course, there's great players in every single league. Um, but I think, like, it's just so spread out, you know, like, there's just great players everywhere. And I think it's college, and then you go professional, and then you can jump leagues. So the Russian league is really good. Um, so we're kind of like down here in Switzerland, you know, and but we have the ability to play with these teams. It's just a, a matter of the game and the night. Yeah. yeah, exactly. That's the great thing about Euro Cup is that you're exposed to these really good yeah. teams. And if your league isn't as high of a level as theirs, yeah. it could take some adjustments. But you see a lot of competition yeah. across the board for these elite level teams that make Euro Cups. Yeah, and the exposure uh, is really great. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. All right, why did you choose this team, and how's it going right now? I mean, we know you won Super Cup. We heard that part, so. Mm -hmm. um, it's really good. I chose this team um, based on the fact that I had a good uh, relationship with the coach. Like, when I first spoke with her, um, I felt like she was great for me and the player that I am. And I, like I said before, they won everything last year. So... Um, you know, they're the top of the Swiss League, and they're a great team, and the program is great. And, um, yeah, I, I didn't – I've known a lot of players that have played in the Swiss League, and they loved Switzerland, and um, some girls that have played here also um, at Vitius Nuke, and they told me great things. And there's kind of a risk in, you know, going to a different club that you haven't been to before and, and yada, yada. But I've gotten really lucky, and uh, the girls are great, and the staff is great. And um, yeah. I'm glad that I chose here. Yeah. And I'm happy we can have Elite Volley Fam together because you would be yeah. great. Yeah. Uh, all right. So what's expected from you as a pro by your teams? Um, to show up every day, to work hard, um, to do your job, to take care of yourself, um, things like this. Like I said, it's at this level now, it's your job and you have to take, um, like we've talked about a lot, you know, it's not just the athletic side. It's, you know, more than just physical, it's mental, it's spiritual, it's emotional. You have to take care of all these things. And I think it's a responsibility on yourself as a player and the club um, really expects this out of you when you when you come play for them. And how would you say pro-life if you, I mean, talked about it a little bit but like differences, what are the biggest differences that might take some getting used to between college and pro yeah um college you in regards just with preseason maybe you have double days but overseas it's double days for i've experienced the whole season so um there's more training more uh pressure on your body uh things like this more um you're expected, you know, more to just take care of your body. And that's a lot different than, than college. You know, you practice in the morning and then you have class all day and you have tutoring and things like this. And here it's really like, what can you do in your spare time? Yes, there is a lot of spare time with between practices and stuff, but a lot of it is about resting and, um, you know, eating and sleeping enough and drinking enough water and things like this. And I think that's the biggest difference between college and, and pro. Cool. And uh, what's Elite Volley Fam to you? Why did you choose us? Elite Volley Fam is it's what it what it says. It's family. Um, I don't know any other agencies like ours. Um, time and time again, I ask people. You know, even if they have a a group message for their um, agency, and they say no. And I think in Elite Volley, we really do a good job of like trying to connect everyone and and make this this journey not feel like you're on your own. Like a lot of times you can go to the country and you might feel like you're alone and you just have your agent. But with us, we, we really do a good job of like, okay, who played here in, in this country and what can you tell me? Um, like what's all the information that I need to know when I'm deciding on signing a contract to a certain team in a certain league and a certain level. Um, and I think that Elite Volley Fam 
really is like a family in that way. We really take care of each other. Yeah. Cool. Um, all right. So then why is an agent important and what do we do for you as a professional athlete? Well, if I didn't have you, I'd be lost. I could not do this on my own for sure. Um, uh, having an agent is super important. They are just so educated and um, you being a player, you're even more educated and just um, connections and the different levels in the leagues and even just simple things like coaches in certain places and um, having you, you kind of just steer the way for your players and me included and um, you, you know, you have all the information when I don't know something I can easily go to you and it's like that I don't have to like figure it out on my own. Like, of course, it's about learning and, and learning some things yourself. But um, having an agent is, is really clutch. Yeah. Uh, what would you say that I expect from you so that I can do my job? Um, just to be like, clear and genuine and honest at all times and how experience is going, how you're feeling, you know, after and before every single season. Um, things like this, just to be as open and, and clear as you can and, and what you want also. Like if, you, if you're a type of player that just wants to go play volleyball and just to travel and see Europe, that's very different than I want to win Champions League. I want to, you know, win my league and more and I want to play in the best leagues. So I think saying that it's, it's kind of a level of like, you need to, you need to tell your agent this and, and let them know exactly what you want out of this journey and experience. Yeah, that's great. Uh, all right. So then how has it been to work with me in your experience? And how would you give, would you give any examples of, of times where you use me in a capacity that, you know, we're looking for? Yeah, I think we have a really good relationship. Um, when I need to come to you or if I need anything, I just go straight to you. And like, even after last season, I'm, it was a little rocky for me towards the playoffs. And I said, look, I, I think I need to work with somebody, um, a coach that I can, you know, rebuild my skill. And I'm really focusing to go and reach mastery in, in my in my skills. And I might need somebody that's good with confidence and can bring me back to the player that I feel like I need to be. And that was kind of our biggest thing. And when we were choosing a, a coach and a, a team for the next season, and just in that simple thing of like letting you know that um, we are able to do a little bit more, you know, with, with all the, um, you know, information, you know, like if I needed that and I didn't say it, then maybe I would end up somewhere where I'm not comfortable and it could um, have, been bad or good you just don't know yeah, yeah it's a lot more risky mm -hmm. um all right so then what do you like or respect about our agency compared to what you know about other agencies now that you've played for three yeah i think we do a really good job and you do a really good job of placing players where they fit i think sometimes you hear some horror stories that some agents just put girls places where, okay, that's a really good offer and that's a lot of money and I can make a lot of money off of this, but they're thrown into a contract that is rocky already and maybe it's not even their position and they don't know and they don't know, you know, all the outlines and you hear a lot of like horror stories about this and, um, or they don't know any, anything about the league or the city or if there's resources there, like you could just be thrown into a, a city where there's no English spoken or they're not nice to foreigners or they don't treat their players well. Um, and just some stories where they make it look maybe a little bit elegant, but they just throw you out there and you kind of feel on your own and they, they don't help. Um, so I think the biggest difference with our agency is, is that it's not like that. There's a lot um, with the girls who have played in, in the city before, there's a lot of information given before you, um, sign a contract. There's a lot, lot more to it than just signing a paper. Yeah. I think, I mean, some keywords that pop up for me is like background, background of the player, background of the team, research on both, connecting those dots, and then compatibility is a major one. But I think what's really important there that you were talking about is that foundations for me as an agent and a player are massive. You know how much I care about like a health foundation. So it's yeah. like it's healthy, you have those four areas of health. 
if you're building a career, you have to have a good foundation. So some players out of the gate, they're going to go for those big contracts and that's fine, mm -hmm. but let's put you where you fit. Let's yeah. Where it's going to be high risk plus that money. And now you're going to have to work to even get back to that level after three, mm -hmm. four five years. I see this in pro all the time. So um, great advice there or great knowledge there. So what so these last two questions are, are basically aimed at these rookies that are going to watch this, right? Mm -hmm. What are the common mistakes in two areas that you hear of? Um, maybe you can add the ones that you, you knew before you came over here, but also now uh, from agents or the contracts that players sign, if you can give examples. Um, I just think education is a big thing that we lack in the States before we go. Um, personally, I have a friend who signed a contract in Italy, and it's like, it's, it's the Italian league you want to play, but if you don't know the circumstances of how they run their leagues and things like this, you wind up maybe on the bench and maybe you're a better player, but you're still on the bench and it's your rookie year. And I, I just think education is so big um, for us. And if I would have known a little bit more too, like I would have, would have known, you know, before even graduating early, that it would be really difficult for me as a libero to maybe get a contract right away or play half season, which I thought would have been easier or even sign an agent, you know? Um, I think these are just the biggest things. Yeah, cool. Um, time machine, what advice would you give yourself now, knowing everything that you know as that rookie planning, starting the, okay, I know I wanna pursue this. Now, what would you say to yourself knowing what you know? Um, to be more patient and to take more time to talk to people, um, talk to alumni that you know that are playing, um, speak to them about their relationship with their agent and how they started and how they educated themselves. Um, also, we have a lot of things in Elite Volley that you can check out, videos and all this stuff. And um, a lot of times I get messages. You can message any of us at any time and even ask us if you're too like nervous or scared to just directly message Ryan and ask him questions like you can always message us and I've had plenty of people ask me about my experiences in so and so country or elite volley like with Lindsay when she signed um we had a lot of talks about signing to elite and um the biggest differences and my knowledge on different agencies and agents and what they do for you as a player as a rookie when it can be really really difficult um the switch over is pretty difficult and um but if i was more educated i would have it would have been a much smoother process for sure cool well thank you for being on i wish you the best of luck in the rest of the season of course thank i will you. probably see you before that happens yeah and, mm -hmm. uh any last words other than that I think you wrapped up really nicely with that last yeah, one. Yeah, I think it's okay. Perfect. All right. Talk to you soon. Okay. Bye. Bye.